welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm doing part three, my third piece in my fragmented series. Uh, today I'm going to work on a 16 by 20 um, oval canvas. I'm going to use a black base and um, I'm really creating just some abstract lines. Um, I'm thinking along the lines of some sort of arcing uh, lines or something. I don't know. I'll show you when I get down on the canvas. I've got something in my head. We'll see if it plays out. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see. You. All right, everyone. So let's get down on that canvas and get started. I will be right back. What I've got today is a 16 by 20 oval canvas. Um, I am doing, this is the third piece in my fragmented series. And so what I decided, because my first two pieces were done in a white base, so I'm going to do a black base. So I've painted my sides and edges with black. That way I get a good solid coverage on the corner, on the edges, so I don't get canvas to bleed back through. Um, colors I'm going to go with is Amsterdam and the turquoise green. This is Artist Loft in light blue. I've got Dioxazine purple. And this is a custom made pink. It's kind of like quinacridone uh, pink ro or quinacridone rose uh, mixed in with, uh, I can't remember the other color. I'll put it, all the colors down in the description box though. But these paints are nothing but uh, gloss medium, Floatrol, and the paint. That is it. And my base coat is going to be my Artist Loft Soft Body in Black. I like using the soft body paints for the base coats because it does kind of help uh, get up some cells. So what we want to do is put down a puddle in the center, keeping enough negative space out here for the puddle. That's where I'm gonna put my colors in the puddle itself and then I will spin, I'll do some swiping with my cell activator and then we'll spin it out. All right, so let's get started here. I'm gonna put down. There we go. Right, this spinner's a little off a little bit, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that. All right, so my first color, what I wanna do is I'm gonna do uh, some palette knife work as well. Do a little stretching of my colors. I'm gonna give this a torch real quick. I just mixed up this black about 15 minutes ago. All right, so. I'm thinking what I want to do is kind of like a Harry Potter lightning bolt. So I'm going to go from the bottom up here, shoot back, and then come up that way. Um, so. Let's go this way, back, and that way. That'll be good. Let's go with the light blue next. And it's, it's good to know what will happen when this spins, your corners, your, your most outer edges here, they're gonna end up getting tilted off the canvas. So it's not too important how much, you're, I'm gonna start my swiping here um, but it's, it's going to go off, so it's not too important how that uh, beginning and end starts. Uh, let's go with the Dioxazine Purple. Got my cell activator, which is my titanium white that I keep mixed up in my squeeze bottle. So I am gonna start here 
and I'm gonna uh, swipe in small segments. I'm gonna swipe up through here and maybe stop, or I might just pull it out this way and create some fragmented lines away from the main lines. Uh, so let's get started. Let that work. I'm gonna start back over here and go that direction. You just never know what's going to happen when this opens up. So creating just some own little lines in it just gives it some definition. See where things go. Should be enough. All right, let's give this a light spin, see what happens. Just a little bit. Really cool. I like the negative space. 
I like what this white cell activator did outside of the color. Just gives it kind of a vertebrae feel. This is really, really awesome, guys. Bring this down just a little bit. The black face really does give this a wonderful look. I like the composition here. Um, you know, I created this in the vertical, but it could go here on the horizontal. I'm liking this a lot. I like the color choice. Kind of got, uh, an Easter feel if you will, um, but yeah, the cells are really selling up. The Artist Loft Black is giving me some black cells inside of the colors. I like this a lot. All right, I'm gonna torch, and then I'm gonna bring you guys down so you can see up close. All right, everyone, here is the wet result. I love how minimalistic this is. Got some cool effects with the lacing and cells and the um, negative space in this is so really just fantastic. I love this so much. All right, we'll see this when it's dry. I'll be back. Here is the dried result. Love it. It's almost very egg-like. <laughs> but the lacing, the negative space, really, really cool. Dried great. It will probably get resin. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, everyone, that is it. So that is the piece. I love this. I love how minimalistic the great negative space in this. Looks like a giant Easter egg. If Easter eggs were black, I guess, but <laughs> um, could go in the vertical, could go on the horizontal. Nonetheless, it will get a couple of coats of resin and be ready to go for sale. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Head over to Kelly with Feral Art. She's up next. I'll see you on Sunday. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.